All right, guys, so you've been hanging out all week to know about this, and <laughs> you've had some really cool guesses. So the you one had, that yeah. came up first was if I'm pregnant, but no, no pregnancy Definitely not here. Definitely happening. <laughs> and plus I've had the snip, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> and not married yet, but one day. Not yet. I think he wishes he was sponsored by Great Northern, but he's not. Oh man, that, oh. <laughs> That'd be my life, mate. And Lotto, oh, everyone wishes they won the Lotto, oh, man. but I tell we would have told you about that. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to hold it in a secret. I would have told you like yesterday, the <laughs> day before, like, holy hell, that's just something that you can't ever hide. No. So it's definitely not Lotto. It's not Great Northern. She's not pregnant. Not married. No ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One day. But someone, someone did say, is this going to be able to allow you to stay on the road longer? Yeah, well, not someone, quite a few people. Yes. And the answer the, is yes. Yeah, the answer to that is yes. It is definitely going to be able to give us the opportunity to last longer on the road, keep producing YouTube, socials, checking out awesome places around Australia. And, okay. You gotta tell them. You, well, all right. All right, so here it is. We have been sponsored by a very big company, a very well-known company. I guess we should tell you, Kate. Hey. Should we just wait another five seconds? Cue uh, waiting music. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Seriously. Seriously. Right. Awesome news. You, you want say it? it? You can say it. You can say it. We have been given the opportunity and have been sponsored by Anaconda! Holy <laughs> hell, uh, holy hell. Uh, I'm telling you right now, if anybody does camping, fishing, full driving, any sort of stuff that we love doing, yeah. Anaconda is your go-to store. It, uh, if it's not, it should be because they have absolutely everything. I've been going there since I was like a young teenager. He told me a story earlier actually, <laughs> which is funny. He used to go to our local store at um, Logan Home. Yeah. And there's like a window that overlooks the highway and yeah. that's where all the chairs and tents were. And mm. he used to just go sit there with his mate and watch the highway. Just and chill out. We used to sit just, there for hours sometimes and just have lunch and whatnot out like, there. Like, What did you do as a teenager? Hang out in an Anaconda <laughs> store? What the hell? You I'm not even kidding. For years. <laughs> Luke, if you're out there, you'll know exactly what oh, we're talking about. That's but anyway, funny. yeah. So Anaconda. Lati ecstatic about that. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna change so much for us going forward and oh like it's so cool. So basically um it will help us financially in some ways, but yes. then obviously we need that to be able to stay on the road. You know, exactly. if you're doing this all the time you need to have some form of every income. little bit helps. Yeah. And this is and we want to have full disclosure with you so you understand, you know, what relationship we have, but mm. we're not going to become salesmen for Anaconda. However, we will be trialing some of their new products that haven't been on the market yet. Yeah. And also some of their current products that are on the market. So basically and testing and trialing. Yeah. Like I don't want to get a chair and I absolutely hate it. It's uncomfortable. It doesn't and then work tell for you me. It's awesome. And then turn around and go, <laughs> you guys need to buy this because it's yeah. not like it's not going to be like I But I tell you what, we yeah. will happily tell you about things that we get from them that are awesome because yeah. that's what we do anyway. I mean, oh, we've if been we doing find it for months. something that's really cool, we tell you about it. It's no different yeah. just that we're going to be using a lot more products from Anaconda that maybe we didn't use before. It's just more and for if a, we find it's awesome. A selected we're tell store. You about it. It's more from a selected store now, but it's Anaconda, like they are huge. They got they so, so many products. Stuff. Like so it's a one-stop shop, yeah. which I am so excited about. Oh, it just, yeah, it's like yeah. life-changing for us. So this was supposed to be a one, maybe two year kind of gap holiday and yeah. YouTube was something that we wanted to do because we've both got a bit of history in, you know, film and that and we enjoy that, mm. but it's just, it's turned into this and you guys are just awesome because you follow us and without you, Anaconda may not have even found us. So you're oh, the one man. who basically made this. It's amazing. You bloody like, legends. Yeah. You are unreal. Like if it wasn't for you guys, yeah. it definitely wouldn't happen. Like, oh, we're, we're just so grateful. Yeah, Seriously, so, so grateful. grateful. Yeah. So like, I'm so like, it's, I've said it all the time. I said to Sean the other day, like it's so overwhelming knowing that so many people out there just enjoy yeah. us living our day each and every day just and that we can help set. you to yeah. do this as well 
Just you know? handy tips, info about places. Answering your Things questions, you need to go and see. Showing you things, showing you places. Like so the best pubs around Australia. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> literally. We love I our pubs. We're We're, we're known for it, eh? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just want you to know as well, like our content's not going to change, you know. No. Uh, we're still going to be exactly the same. We're still going to have our banter. We're still going to try caravan parks that we want to go to and areas yeah. that we want to go to and, you know, tell you it as it is because that's what we do and that's what you guys love. That's who we and are. We want to stay on the same level as you because we always have been. So none yeah. of that's ever going to change. Definitely not. The only difference is, is that when you watch our video, the very, very beginning bit, we'll There's have a, a little special. Nice little intro. Yeah. It's really kind of cool. So you oh. have that there, it's like, oh! Yeah. It's really cool. It's really cool. So, and yeah. you obviously, you, you will hear about Anaconda here and there as well. Like, we can't not mention them. Oh, absolutely, yeah. But, yeah. So, it's just, it's, it's bloody amazing. Oh, it's unreal. It's so cool. We're very, very lucky. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Really, really appreciate everything you guys have done. Following us. Just seeing where we're going. Watching videos. Commenting on, you know, socials. Everything. It all... It all comes down to you guys and you guys doing yeah. that. And I just, it, it's, uh, yeah. it's it, a, it makes it's me so, feel so good that we can help you guys as much as we can help us as well. So, yeah. yeah. All right. 2021 is going to be massive. 2021 is going to be huge. Oh, can't wait. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. So thanks again, guys. Yep. Enjoy this episode and the new intro. And we'll see you again soon. So we're on our way back down and we're on our way to the Morton Telegraph station and we just stopped in at Bramwell station to get fuel. What was our range? 73 kilometers and that was what I put in with a jerry can before we left the gravel patch. So if I didn't have the gravel, uh, the jerry can, I would have been well and truly stuffed. We would have basically run out with fuel inside the road. We would have been running on fumes. All the boys, they don't even have unleaded jerry cans and the ones that did, they were empty. So it couldn't have helped us. So price of fuel here is two dollars and five we put in 100 liters and it's 203 dollars so far this is by far the most expensive fuel we've ever bought <laughs> under and keep us under but we're under an umbrella in the rain and guess what we're doing cleaning the caravan it's the first big rain off in two weeks i just gotta i just stay right up his bottom because i'm always, under the umbrella we've always said if you clean your car or caravan it's cheating but if it's natural it doesn't we didn't count. pay for this no this is free as Especially doing there because it won't get enough rain. Are you see the other side? It's white. Get out of this film. Look at all these people watching us. <laughs> that looks red. <laughs> That's what I said. No, it's, it's better on the other side. There's progress shots on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to be Kiwi can dry and I can just see how soaking I was absolutely struggling by myself before, but I think I stay more dry <laughs> by myself than I did with Sean as the umbrella operator. Because I'm too more I'm more worried about the GoPro because you could be washed the GoPro can't. <laughs> I reckon that'll uh, do for now. Alright. I can only do the one side of it. So we'll yeah, have one good. very clean side and one dirty side. Alright. Because the awning's out, we need to stay dry. 
or semi dry if you're not sharp with an umbrella that doesn't keep it over you. So what are you about to pay for, Ben? You can see it real quickly, 174.95. And what's that for? For internet. So it's only six gigs and it's valid for 90 days for $175. <laughs> and then, oh, the joy this, of being this, so remote. So this is so I can get episodes up so you can watch cans because <laughs> we've got nothing unless we do this. And the internet here is pow powered by satellite. So it's not even like normal 100%. internet. Yeah. It's slow. And they said if there's cloud cover, it probably won't help. It's been raining all of yesterday and today. You can't even see the sky. So I don't even know that this is gonna work. But yeah, this is how much we love you guys. <laughs> Tiny catfish. Ash got a Saratoga before. It was only a baby one too. And we're trying our best. There's a little museum up at the uh, office that has photos of people that have caught fish. There's lots of barramundi, a huge Saratoga they've caught down here. So we've uh, been told to come down, and have a little bit of a look around because there's a big hole down here just behind the office because a lot of it's really shallow. There are a few big deep holes with like um, big stumps and old trees and it's like perfect for like barramundi. So we're all down here with a couple of lures just trying our luck, see what happens. Situation is we've left um, Morton Telegraph Station this morning and we're on our way to Chili Beach, which at the moment, we got a good two hours to go but we did the Frenchman's track yesterday and a shortcut track and so we've done a fair bit of driving and we've been chewing through our fuel and um, the next fuel station is at Lockhart River which is on the way to Chili Beach so that's 94 kilometers away according to my map and what's your range? I have 77 k's left on my range. <laughs> 77 kilometers so we're 20 k's short but we have a jerry can in the back as well. So hopefully, the problem is though, the jerry can we bought when we were at Mossman and they got this really horrible shape and they don't come with a funnel. So we had to swap out with someone else the jerry can that actually fit in our jerry can holder, which didn't have a funnel either. So we don't know how we're gonna get it in. Um, yeah, it could be interesting. It's amazing how big like the dip is. There's only this much in it. How much water must come through here? Yeah. Let's keep drawing. Drive nicely, babe. We gotta save that fuel. Gonna get up this bloody hill. I'll chew about 20 k's, gonna be. <laughs> Petrol app isn't working, so there's no service. 
But what's it called? Hema. Hema says that there's petrol there. Yeah. So I hope Hema doesn't have a mistake. Oh, otherwise we're in a bit of a sticky situation. A bit of a pickle. Mm. Lucky we're members of NRMA. And I think that they bring you fuel when you run out of fuel. <laughs> oh. We're going to need a good bloody uh, response car. Mm. I, just really, <laughs> I just really hope that it happens in a place where there's 3G or 4G so we can at least call. <laughs> yeah. Unleaded. Right. And diesel. Holy hell. Holy oh, bloody hell. What's left? 89 kilometers 89 in the tank. 89 kilometers and we are fresh out. <laughs> wow. Done. And we would have had to do at least another like 150 k's to get to anything. Oh. Did you actually kiss that? No. Nah. I was going to say. <laughs> I don't even want to touch it. Oh, that's so a good day. Way? What do you do? How do you pay? Does it just start or what? Surely it's not free. It has to be four. Yeah, four. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's all. I'll buy your diesel if you buy our petrol. Um, <laughs> how much is it? It's a dollar fifty-five. That's actually not bad. Wow, that's really good. So we made it to Lockhart, and I'm very, very, very thankful that there's a servo here and it has fuel. I was getting worried there because we have had one instance where we haven't uh, had unloaded, and that was a jarred in. They had two pumps there, and one wasn't working, and that was the unloaded one. They had plenty of diesel. Um, yeah, bloody nice to know that we've got uh, a petrol here, so if we didn't have petrol, we would have been up, you know, what river. <laughs> it's been a hectic day. We finally got to Chili Beach. Um, we've done 250 k's and it's taken us five hours. And amongst that, we've nearly run out of fuel. It's just, if it could happen today, it's happened. So it's been a really stressful day. Uh, we arrived in here, it was about quarter to four, so, and we'd left this morning at about nine. So five hours of driving time and the rest of it, we were still in transit. Uh, Jack was hating life. And um, at the moment, we're kind of taking turns of doing dinner. So one of the other families is doing dinner and everyone's just a bit low. So I thought I'd get creative. So off grid, we're making a cake. The kids don't know yet, so I haven't told anyone. And every time I walk away from the caravan, I lock it so that they definitely won't see. I'm excited just to have something that feels kind of normal because we're all getting down to more rations now. Like it's tinned foods and frozen things and fresh fruit and vegetables are running out. It's just hectic. And then tomorrow there is a food store that's open that we can get to. It's about probably 40 minutes away from us, but we couldn't go today because it's Sunday and it's not even open for the whole weekend. So. We'll go there tomorrow morning. Hopefully they've got a fair amount of stuff. Uh, if not, we don't go to another food store for another two days. So <laughs> it's like getting to the rations. It's funny, like what you think about cooking once you actually have to use all the things in the very back of your pantry. And I realized that I've got four tins of beans and I didn't know I had four tins of beans. So that's pretty helpful. At least you can do beans on toast or something like that. And I've still got plenty of eggs. So I think we'll do like some cheesy omelets or something, but I don't know, we'll see. did one night here it wasn't a much wasn't much going on a bit of a fire a bit of dinner a bit of chit chat around the uh, fire but uh, I'll throw on the drone up and that'll explain how beautiful this spot really is it is amazing but we had site one two and three so you can see it's actually a really big site so you can fit three vans in here and two other cars quite easily. So if you've got a big crew or a big setup, you've got plenty of room. Absolutely heaps of it. So good to know. If you are down this area, 
what sites to look for, one, two, and three. So check it out. If you can get here, definitely worth it. Just went through that huge <laughs> dust hole. There was so much dust. It's like a bloody bomb going off. But this, look at it. It is like layered. And it's everywhere. So in true vlogging, YouTubers, Instagrammers, taking photos, people like us get super excited about big dust holes on the road. <laughs> We've literally gone through one of the thickest ones yet and we enjoyed it so much that we're turning around our cars to go and do it again. Call us crazy but I'll tell you what, the shots that are going to come out of this are going to be bloody amazing. What do you reckon Paul? I reckon it's going to look pretty damn good mate, to be honest. It's awesome because it comes around the corner Yeah. and then you got the wind blowing that way too so you can see all the headlights and oh, it's it has everything. Get gets yeah. As well Oh, it's, it yeah, it's like talcum powder. It's so thick. Poor old caravans are copping and beating through this, but <laughs> it's all worth it. It's, it's all for the bloody for the shot. shot. Yeah. <laughs> We're back at Archer. Back at the Archer River Roadhouse. So we're literally in the exact same spot that we were last time, which is really cool. So we claim it's actually really quiet. I thought it was going to be a lot busier being school holidays. But as we came down the road and looked over, it was literally one car. There's nothing. So yeah, got our old spot back. Pretty cool. We actually left Jada's scooter and bike here, so we'll pick them up as well before we leave and uh, head on south down to Cohen after this one. So it's only one night stay here. When you're at the Archer River Roadhouse, hot tip. Walk down the back of the campsite, through a little gate, follow the road down. And if you've been past this bit, you'll know, understand that there is a bit of a river down here. It's uh, it's not hugely deep, it's mainly shallow, but um, it's a nice little spot to come down and have a bit of a sit in the water. I'll lose me bloody hat. You can sit in the water, have a few beers and just chill out. And that's exactly what we're about to do. Bring the kids down for a bit of a dip. Have a few beers, listen to some tunes, and uh, just soak up the afternoon, basically. Oh, 
in the gear somewhere. Holy. Hey babe. What's going on? <laughs> I don't want to mention names yet, but we had a problem before we left Cairns after we got some work done on the car. And this right rear, rear tire has been super off camber. And it's not sitting the way it should be. And if anybody knows tires, if it's off camber, choose the hell out of your tire. And it's exactly what's happened to this thing here. I got wire hanging out on the inside of this side. This, these are chunky and there is none. So they've this. worn down in the time since we've left Cairns, basically. So for a brand since new leaving tire. Cairns, it's been what, two and a half weeks mm. and they are cactus. So now I've got to take this off, jack that up. We're going to take the tire off. And we've got to swap one of the fronts to the backs probably because the other one's on the way as well. So they haven't done a... Well, how far is it to come on then? 12k. I reckon I'll just are. change this, get in there, and, and then around with it in there. Yeah. I don't want to do it all inside the road on the yeah. slant. You're such a good traffic controller. Yeah, they listen to you. Me, I reckon it's they like, like the English voice. accent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the parental voice. I don't mind on the back. You just so what's back. going on here? You've got a so it's attached to this wishbone piece here and that has to come up so high before this tire is going to come off the ground to be able to be changed you can see how horrible the tread is there so now they're going to jack up the wishbone i think yeah mm. well this i'm so glad this happened where we have service wow Dude, that is horrendous wow any photos of that I've got videos at the moment. Just That's full it around, Paul, just to see the full extent. The whole thing's the same. It's wow. crazy. No wonder it was driving like shit. They did not Can you just do that one quick, babe? It's a bad angle, eh? You're trying to do stuff on. See all the wire maze? That's right. The, the wheels. So it used to look like this and now it looks like that because it's worn down funny. So if your wheels aren't sitting in the correct angle, ours is like this on an angle, which meant that it wears one side off before it wears the other side off. And somewhere through here it's gone through far enough that it's made a little hole and just gone and gone flat. And it could have been a lot worse. So it's yeah, rubber and then there's always metal inside, more rubber, more metal, and then you've got your tread on top of that. You don't want to ever see this on the tire because that's really bad. Very dangerous. Mm. How are you feeling, babe? Oh. Fascinating. A little f***ed off. <laughs> mm. A little annoyed. It's all right. We kind of knew it was probably going to happen. Such a shame because now we got a tire on there and we know exactly what we're about to do to it. Up, yeah, yeah, it's just going to ruin it. Yeah. Just like that. Brand new tyre. Mate, what a day. So, had of the tyre incidents. And then another traveller that's with us, Chrissy, her car has decided to break as well. So she needs a tow from RICQ back to Cairns. Uh, but that can't happen until tomorrow. So the free camp we were going to stay at is too small. It doesn't fit all of our vans. And so half the group are there. We've been to the pub for some beers and lunch because we just had enough. And um, I saw a sign for camping and I was like, just by chance, you won't fit our vans, will you? I'm like, yeah, you guys will fit in. So we're staying at the Exchange Hotel in Cohen tonight. So we're $15 per person per night. Kids are $15 as well. But I'm telling you what, it's worth it. And if you need power as well, it's five dollars extra. Oh so, my god! This is cool. You hear that in the distance? That's our brakes. I think that's ours. That might be. Oh, ours. it was yours. Yeah. Okay, ours was doing it earlier too. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. have a look at this. There is cabins. There's hot showers. There's toilets. There's power. There's flat ground. There's green grass. Green grass. Like. 
Oh my goodness. You couldn't ask for any comes. better. I'm so happy. Like this has just been a good top to the day. So the guys here shot at two o'clock and we're gonna go back up there at four o'clock and go and pay for our accommodation. Get a cold beer on tap. Oh, it's a good end to the day. Here's breaks. Um, we're just saying, is it worth going around here? There's it. someone there who's in the way and then there's someone down at the next one. I don't really want to be on top of them. So here we're kind of by ourselves. Yeah. And it's more level on the bottom That side. one over there isn't very level. Uh, this one's quite level once you get down there. Yeah. So it's official. The Exchange Hotel at Cullen needs better advertising. I'm going to tell them about this because we didn't know. And if I didn't see the camping sign, we would have driven away. So... They have an opportunity to make so much money here. So if you're passing through Cohen, we've heard bad reviews about Cohen and then it's not all that great. But if you're passing through and you need somewhere to stay, how good is it under here? It's nice and shady. You can see the cover. If you're passing through and you need somewhere to stay, this is great. Don't need someone to save me. No. And don't come running to blame me. From miles away, I can tell that something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk, I think you said enough You said you love for me something brand new You said this is something you would never do Here we are in your car Let me see who you are Who you really are Still in Cohen, and just down the back of the pub, there's this little creek. So we're just walking along the path next to it. And we're going to go and sit in a waterhole. This is crazy because this is on Wiki Camps, and everyone says bypass Cohen, don't go to Cohen. Cohen's no good. And yet, like this is awesome. I'm so glad we stopped here now. So if you're undecided, don't listen to other people's reviews because they're not always right. Oh, look, cow poos. There's lots of cows around here. So yeah, if you're undecided, don't listen to everyone else's reviews because they're not always right. And it's turned out that this pub stay has actually been really good. Like really good. I don't know why people have said not to come here. You coming, Hazel? You wanna leave your thongs here with ours as well? Yeah, don't need you here to say you're sorry. Cause if you're gonna leave me, then just do there's like stuff in the ground here that looks like gold. I don't know how to explain it. I'll show you a piece. Hang on. If you know what that rock is, can you put it in the comments below? I need like a geologist or something. It looks like gold, but it's like shaley. So it's not fool's gold, I know that, but it looks gold-like. It's really cool. The kids have been trying to find it all afternoon. So we found some really cool pieces. So we're going for a two way. Around the edges. <laughs> not all over. Why not? <laughs> no. It would be pretty funny. Well, we're committed now. <laughs> oh my god. Was that Jackie with hair in the pandering? Yeah. You're gonna look way different now. I mean, like a different human after this. He's got hair on his face already. <laughs> no, you can put a suit on. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, and you gotta do the bit with the ear. Yeah, give me the ear. I'm doing this bit. I'm getting there. I'm doing this. 
That's all the opposite to a mullet. What do you reckon? <laughs> Leave the front and shave the back. <laughs> No, I'm filming. Oh, it's actually so much cool already. Yeah, it would be. There's Seriously. like nothing there. I can see your head, mate. 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 <laughs> mate. Oh, I need water. Yeah, can you mate. Your hair, please? Dad. <laughs> you want to film, Jack? So <laughs> Can I put Jack! Could I put some Yeah. It's not going to be oh. our camera. Serious business. Oh. <laughs> When you're editing, there'll just be some loud chomps in there. You, every time you move, you're in danger of ruining your head. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Don't move. Oh no! <laughs> no, he, he didn't want long hair again. It's, he used to have it short. It's unusual that it's this long. Dad, what do you want? This is what I have to do with as well. A unicorn? Like, like what's that boy from, um, from <laughs> No more Astro boys. No, what's it Johnny Bravo. Did you used really to long? cut hair, Sean? Nope. Mm -hmm. Self-taught. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure That's what mine. it actually is. It's wow. an angel. But she's been going at it for a fair while now. There's a lot of time and effort. Let's get rid of the great ones, please, okay? I oh, think so much. Which ones are these, Sean? Oh, the little grey ones that are here, see? Oh, I've got some dye for that, Chris, if you want it. Hang on, what were they? <laughs> the little grey ones. <laughs> this is progress oh, shots. Yeah. <laughs> is it wee wee? Is all that, wee -wee? that should be about right, babe. It's just whether you like it or not. Do you love it? It's really short. <laughs> it feels good to be short again. I can try and... Do you want me to take a little bit off your front like the way you normally like it? I don't it? know, babe. I don't know. <laughs> so short. I can't see all... It's so short. I'm not used to seeing it this way. <laughs> it's better once you've got... Uh, you've washed it and you've got product in it. Yeah. If you want any Chris product doesn't. in. Yeah, see this bit here? I'm not here? a big product on your eye. I would probably just do the thinners again and probably not take it too short. Uh, he would usually take that off. Would he? Yeah. It's up to you, babe. Do it. Well, if you know what I like, then go for it. Well, I've watched you have it done so many times because that's like the excess that you don't like normally. You're like, mm. oh, look at all my fluffy bits. <laughs> You'll prefer that, I reckon. Straight, we're done. Do you feel proud of your work, Sean? I think I do a good job. Don't ask me until I see a mirror. Go <laughs> <laughs> look in your driver's mirror or in um, Nathan's one. Tell us what you think. Oh, hurry up. Well, 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 that's my yeah. And then Jada's final piece of art. I've definitely lost one of these flipper what? things I what dropped it. One. How is it? Is it alright? It doesn't look too bad. Has it worn much off? No, it hasn't changed at all. Okay, cool. I wouldn't imagine it chewing that much. Like we've driven a fair bit on these tires before that blew. How is my hazelnut doing? We went all the way to the cave and halfway back. Yeah, but our situation may have changed. Like they maybe damaged the tires or Anything could happen. Oh, I'm starting to feel. That. I have accidentally turned down the volume and had his music blast. We're starting to have the feeling that we had just before the tire popped last time, and it's like a very slight bump in the car. I said to Chris, I'm like, you should check it. He's like, it should be fine. I'm like, yeah, but just check it. Like, imagine if something was worse and it was wearing out a lot faster, but apparently we're good. I'd end up getting towed if it was up there. Oh, don't want to do that. We don't have enough bloody tires to get us home. <laughs> Yeah, if we lose another tire, we can't get it back. So, no. I hope it wears the way the other one has. My rotating tires, like there's no tomorrow, just to yeah. keep up with what it's doing. So, it's not very good. It's not ideal, but hopefully we can get back to cans and to get this. It's fixed. a character-building experience. <laughs> We tackle the Frenchman's track and cross the Wenlock and Pasco River, still with no snorkel or front bar. We find a mint free camp with views to die for at Arch Point. We check out Elim Beach, Coloured Sands. This place was so beautiful. Don't forget Kate Bedford though, 
but be prepared for lots of pinstripes. Oh my gosh. Uh, screaming. <laughs>